right now the island of Dominica, which is just south of Guadalupe, is currently being battered, or you know, let's say it more accurately, destroyed by the western eye wall of Hurricane Maria. I mean, yeah, Maria is now a powerful Category 5. And if the rate of intensification is continuing the way it did today, it's probably up to 170, maybe 180 plus right now. Because 5 p.m., it went from a Cat 2 to a Cat 3. It actually jumped, basically, from a Cat 2 right to a 4. From 105 mile per... No, it went from right from 120 to 135. Two p.m. advisory had it at 120. Uh, 5 p.m. advisory, 135. And the 8 p.m. advisory, three hours later, 160. That's a huge jump. So that's 25 miles per hour in only three hours. And pressures went down from 950 to about 929. About 953 to 929. That is a 24 millibar drop in three hours. Meteorologists call bombing if a storm drops more than 12 millibars in 24 hours or 24 millibars in 12 hours. That is 24 millibars in three hours. Three. Wow, that's incredible. That's eight millibars per hour. And since the last advisory, about an hour and a half had passed. And so that's true. The storm right now might be well up, well close down to 920 millibars. Probably, maybe even lower. So the storm might very well be 170, 175 miles an hour already. And it's probably making landfall on Dominica at this very strength. That island will be unrecognizable. And, and, and just, you know, to make it, to make it all the more tragic, Dominica is much more populated than Barbuda. Barbuda only had, what, 1,500 people? Dominica has tens of thousands of people. Dominica, Dominica's largest town has over 8,000 people. That island has close to 80,000 people living on the island. So this is a pretty sizable population living there. And the fact that there's so many people living there makes it all the more tragic. How they're going to evacuate 80,000 people after such a devastating hit? I don't know. This is just a tragedy right now. And it's going to get even worse because Maria is heading right into the Caribbean where the warmest waters in the entire Atlantic Basin lies right now. High 80s. Irma never entered the Caribbean, so it never entered the extremely volatile waters of the Caribbean. It still was in very warm waters, don't get me wrong. But you know where it became a Cat 5? Water temperatures there were about 84, 85 degrees. However, Irma is entering, I mean, Maria is entering an area where water temperatures are one to two degrees warmer than what Irma was in. Or right now it's basically the same water temperatures that Irma was in, but it's a little more to the south, which means waters didn't get upwelled by Irma there. And the upwelling that was done by Irma is actually already negated because, you know, it's been over a week since Irma passed there. Anyway. The water temperatures are still above normal. Even after Irma upwelled the, those cooler waters, it was still above normal. There was so much warm water going down, down like well below the surface, that the upwelling was very insignificant. It hardly cooled down the temperatures at all. Not even a half a degree. So, by the way, it's going to get worse. I hate to say. Dominica is only the first island to be devastated by this storm. The next island is to be Puerto Rico. And then the Turks and Caicos. The Turks and Caicos have already been devastated by Irma. They got a direct hit from Irma, and they're going to get another direct hit from uh, Dominica. I mean, from uh, Maria, sorry. Well, they're going to get a direct hit after Puerto Rico and Dominica. Uh, but Puerto Rico is going to be the most devastated, I think, of all the islands, because Puerto Rico is going to take the storm full strength when it's going to be at its peak intensity. I mean, if the storm changes course and goes north of the island, that's the best case scenario. Even if they get the southern, the southern eye wall, the southern eye wall is much better than getting the, the, the northern eye wall because the north, northern eye wall has the strongest winds and the most surge. But here's the thing. After interacting with Puerto Rico, it's going to weaken maybe down to a three, maybe a four. It's not going to weaken much. Puerto Rico, while a big island, 
is not as big as, say, Hispaniola or Cuba. So any weakening of Irma, I mean, Maria, will be very insignificant as it will once again enter very warm waters and continue intensifying again. But the good news is, in regarding to Maria, is that Jose will be our saving grace. But also, it will cause a drought. That's right, Hurricane Jose will cause a drought in the Northeast. How? Well, her, Jose, while giving us a lot of clouds and humidity, is not going to give us any rain in New York City. Not a drop. Well, maybe, maybe a little drizzle, maybe some light rains tomorrow, but that's about it. However, Jose is going to stall and retrograde back west. And what that will do is ca cause Maria to go further north than expected, or further north than what was earlier expected. And then, eventually, this will cause a weakening. The stalling of Jose will cause the high-pressure system that was supposed to quickly move out to basically be stuck west. And that will allow Maria to escape the weakness of the ridge caused by Jose. So Jose will cause Maria to go out to sea. After devastating Puerto Rico, Dominica, and the Turks and Caicos, it will take a turn north and then northeast, right off the coast. However, the Carolinas might not be so lucky. They might get a grazing from Maria before he gets out to sea. And, by the way, on the East Coast, there's going to be a lot of big waves. I mean, big waves. Probably 10, 15 foot seas. Maybe even higher than what, will, what Jose will give us. Because Jose is a small system. It's not, a, it's not as powerful. Jose did just re retrograde west, but it's... It just did a little jog west, but I think it will continue its north and the northeast track and pass about 150 to 200 miles southeast of Nantucket later tomorrow night. And I believe we will get anywhere from not a drop to maybe a tenth of an inch of rain in New York City, if not less. Anyway, um, my forecast from Maria is for it to go out to sea. But in terms of Puerto Rico, I believe Puerto Rico will get hit by... A, a strong Cat 5, as strong, if not stronger, than Jose, uh, uh, than, than Irma, because they'll be entering such warm waters. The interaction with Dominica, current interaction with Dominica, might weaken it just slightly, or maybe weaken it, it, the rate it's, it's intensifying. So maybe instead of having 900 millibars tomorrow morning, as I thought it would, if it hadn't hit the island, it might be at 910 or 915, about there. But that will not stop it from strengthening. It will only lower the rate of how fastly it's going to intensify. So I think it will have a brief pause of intensification as it's hitting the island. And because the eye of the storm might be wider than the island itself, that could actually cause it to intensify still as it's hitting the island. However, right now it has a pinhole eye. It has a very small eye that's 5 to 10, diam 5 to 10 di miles di diameter wide. If the eye is by chance a little smaller than the width of the island, that will cause weakening. Brief weakening. Irma had an eye that was a little bit smaller or bigger than, uh, than the island. The island of, uh, that was hit, the island that was hit by, uh, Irma, you know, Barbuda was much smaller than the eye, than the radius of the eye. Currently, the radius of the eye is actually bigger. No, the radius of the eye is smaller than the island, Antigua. So that could, I mean, Dominica, which could cause some weakening. And I expect maybe by the 11 p.m. advisory, pressures might be still hovering around the same, maybe around 930, maybe 935 millibars, and the winds might be down to 150, which will make it a Category 4, maybe. However, it will continue intensifying once it hits the, once it hits the very warm waters of the Caribbean. It will probably hit Puerto Rico as a very, very strong Category 5. Winds should be between 170 and 190 when it hits the island in about a day or so. Well, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.